Barely one month after the demolition of a section of Jaconde Estate in Lagos, residents are still in search of closure. Now, while the Lagos state government is engaging the leaders of the Residents Association on addressing their concerns, the big question is how the huge housing deficit in the state and other major cities in the country can be reduced at the same time with urbanization and development. Now, providing answers to this, News Central this morning is hosting a town hall meeting with the affected evictees of the estate and relevant stakeholders. Now, let's join my colleague, Bernard Akede, who is at the venue to bring us up to speed with preparations. Hello, Bernard. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Good morning. Good morning, Dash, and thank you for having me on All this right, so morning. Yes. All right, so what can you uh, tell us about the town hall uh, meeting? What, are, uh, what should we expect? All right, so this town hall meeting was initiated by New Central Television, like you clearly mentioned. And um, this is because we, we, we want to hear the direct plight of the people whose buildings, whose structures were demolished um, around the Jack on the Axis of Lekki in Lagos. This demolition took place about a month ago, and our, our correspondent, New Your Money, was on the ground here to interview some of the affected victims. Um, we know that there were landlords here who buildings, but there were also tenants uh, who were affected, whose uh, properties, whose belongings were thrown out. There were people who had shops, um, who, who had kiosks that were legally, you know, they got them with legal permits, and uh, they were equally affected. So, um, as you yeah, can see around... ...and chairs that we have set, uh, you know, down for our expected guests, who of course are the affected persons. Um, they have been in talks with members of the government, but we want to hear directly from them, and we want them to speak directly um, you know, to everybody out there who can hear and who can help. We're also expecting to have, um, you know, legal representatives. We're expecting to have experts in building construction. We're expecting somebody from the side of the government as well to speak back and to also listen to us. We do hope that elements of the weather will not deter um, their efforts from coming. Uh, but basically, this is what we want to do, to see how we, as New Central Television, can mediate between the affected people and the government and how we possibly can, if we can, force the hand of the government to do something um, for these people who have lost their homes and for others who also have lost their sources of livelihood. All right, uh, Bernard, now uh, talking about the government, what explanations or justifications in the first place uh, was actually given by the authorities for the demolition of uh, some of these houses? Um, um, it, um, the government official who was able to who spoke the camera talked about uh, the dilapidated state of uh, the, the estate, so to speak, some of the structures in that state. Now, there are some who are also of the school of thought, believing that uh, the, the uh, coastal road from Lagos to Calabar that has been in the news for the past couple of weeks may also be one of the reasons why this area uh, you know, was, was demolished. Although, if you look at the map, you'll see that this coastal road is a couple of kilometers away from the estate. But then again, you know, it could also be a reason. So this is one of the reasons that we have been given. And there also was the reason, um, you know, that uh, this area had for some time, will I say, have certain persons of questionable character. Remember then, uh, during the NSAS crisis, when certain places uh, were, uh, will I say, were robbed, uh, were raided, uh, and were burned down and destroyed, there were claims that there were some elements who came from this particular area or areas uh, who perpetrated some of these crimes. So this could also be part of the reason why this place is affected. We are hoping that we will get closer as to mm. why this uh, in place was actually demolished if we do even get somebody to speak from the government. If we do not get anyone today to speak from the government, we will continue to see why and how we can actually, uh, or rather, why the place was demolished uh, and then how we can get um, you know, reasons from government officials and what can be done basically again for these people who have been affected. All right, uh, Bernard, hopefully we will be getting a positive outcome from this town hall meeting. But we will definitely be reconnecting with you uh, later uh, in our subsequent bulletin so that uh, you can give us an update on the uh, meeting. Thank you so much, Bernard. Thank you for having me.